Hi guys, so I'm here with you today and I just wanted to show you my makeup routine if I'm off work or I'm going you know, out to eat with my boyfriend or something. So um, don't mind my hair, I this is like blow dried and that's about all I've done to it, my hair's naturally straight. So I still have to do my hair, but um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I have a, a product that I've never used before. It's this um, L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover foundation. Um, I'm trying it out today. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not or if the color is even going to match me. I have very oily skin so we're going to see how this works. Okay so I'm going to first shake this up. Okay so it comes out pretty thick. I don't know. I don't want to use a primer just because I want to see how this product works without the primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and dot this all over my face. It says full coverage, so I'm really hoping it's not a cakey foundation. Like, it might be full coverage, but you're going to look like you have a ton of makeup on. I don't like that. Sorry, there's a mirror right here, so that's why I'm looking at it. So I'm just going to pat this all over my face. I don't really even know how much I need, but we're going to start off with this much, and then I can always add to it. Next, I'm going to use my Sigma Round um, Kabuki brush. I use this, like, every day. Okay, so I can already see this is kind of like clinging to some of my dry spots. Um, oh wow, and this dries really quickly. Um, well, I might have to put a little bit more on because I feel like, I'm not really sure what happened just then. Um, that's strange. Did not think it was going to dry that fast. It's been like 30 seconds. Okay, let's try this again. Um, I usually use tapping motions um, instead of swiping motion just because I feel like um, it comes out a little bit more full coverage. But with this, I feel like since it's like a mousse texture, you really have to like get it in there and kind of buff it. Ooh, hello Casper. I can't wait till summer comes just because I'm so, I just love the sun and I'm just so sick of the winter. I, I just love the warm weather. I love everything about summer. I love going to the beach. I just, I'm done with winter <laughs> for sure. Okay, now that my foundation's on, the next step I do, no matter what foundation I use, I always do um, foundation and then I do, well usually, I usually do my primer, then my foundation, then my concealer, then powders, but today I wanted to try out that new product that I used. Okay, so this next product is the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Now, I don't know if you can tell, I lost a little spongy to it, but I wasn't going to, and this happened when there was like half left, so I was like, well I'm not going to just get rid of it. So. I just push this up and use what's ever on the top. So, and I use it with my finger and I'm just gonna go in, put little dots and I do this. And I use back and forth motions just to really, um, you know, I've heard before if you have a little bit of wrinkles underneath, you can just go back and forth, back and forth and it really kinda doesn't settle in the lines as much. So, just gonna put that on. This hair though, oh, it's not very cute. But we're gonna fix that. Tap, tap, tap. And I know they say you're supposed to use your ring finger just because it's less pressure. I don't know what it is. I feel like when I try to use my ring finger, I I'm just like super slow with it. Like my fingers just don't move as fast as my middle finger and my um, pointer finger, so it's inevitable. I'm going to get wrinkles. <laughs> you can never do enough padding motions, I feel, because you really want that foundation and everything to blend very nicely. So next I'm going to use the RCMA powder, which I've showed you before. I use this RCMA powder every time I wear my foundation just because I have very oily skin, so I really have to lock everything in, my foundations and stuff, so it doesn't slip all over the place. 
So I'm just gonna do this, and I know it kind of looks like a lot, but it's okay. I do my eyes. I'm gonna blend it all. I'm very excited I'm off work today. Um, it's a Friday, and I'm very excited. I'm off the next three days, actually, so it's pretty cool. We're having our, me and my boyfriend are having our parents over for dinner, and my little grandma. Um, I'm making homemade spaghetti sauce, and I'm making homemade meatballs with um, stuffed mozzarella. I'm very excited about it, just because I've had a taste for spaghetti lately. So, that's the game plan tonight. Drink some wine, have my family over. Okay, so once that's on, um, you can tell like it's not shiny at all. Um, next, I usually move on to my eyes. I'm going to show you how I do my winged eyeliner just because I've never showed it in a video before. I hope that it comes out good because you know how it is. Some days your winged eyeliner could look on point and look really good. And other days it could just look like total shit. I mean, let's be honest. One eye could look like great and the other eye could just be like pointed down or pointed too up or too long. So you know how it is with those wings. Next, I'm just going to take a blending brush. I'm going to go in with like a neutral color right here. Alright, so I'm going to do this eye. I'm starting in the crease. I'm starting in the crease and I know you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's super dark. But don't worry, we're going to blend, blend, blend. Blend. Okay, so we got that. And I like using matte shades a lot. Um, sometimes I like to use shimmer. Okay, now for the next eye. Right now we're just focusing in the crease. Next step I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kinda soften everything out. Kinda blend, blend, blend. Whew, these eyebrows are looking rough. They're looking kind of sparse lately, so I think what I'm going to do is I used to use castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes, and I feel like they really did help grow them back and grow them stronger. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing that again when I go to bed. I'm just going to put a layer on, just because I feel like they're looking so sparse lately, and I don't know what is going on. Like, I take vitamins every day. I'm not sure why my eyebrows are acting up, but I do have a hypoactive thyroid, which means um, my thyroid is kind of low. So eyebrows sometimes just don't grow in as well. So that's why you have thin hair and you're tired when you wake up in the morning. So my thyroid, I think, really takes a toll um, in how it affects my eyebrows and my hair and all that stuff. So, okay, so now I'm going to show you my eyeliner, if I can. So I usually start in the center. And I go out. And I use swiping motions. I know a lot of people can just do it like super quickly and just like get in there and just like make one line, but I my hands are too shaky for that. Okay, so there's the one part. So then what I do is some days I will just leave this and just put mascara on. I'll just do like a half of a um, winged eyeliner. But today I want to do the whole thing. So I'm just going to go in, get a little bit more. Oh, and I wanted to tell you the eyeliner that I'm using. It's by Prestige. I get this at Ulta and I'm telling you, this is like the best. It's like a felt tip. It's literally like it goes on so smoothly. I've used this like all the time. I've tried many different eyeliners from L'Oreal, from Rimmel, from... All to and this one works the best. So I'm gonna go and do this side just because it's so hard to do it without looking like straight in the mirror. Okay, so now my eyeliner's on. The next thing I do is I go onto my brow highlight and my inner highlight. I'm just gonna use the same brush I did before I whipped it off on a towel. I'm gonna go in with these two lighter colors. It's from Coastal Scents. So I'm just gonna put that right on my brow highlight.
The next step I do is I take that same color. I know it sounds kind of funky, but I put it right underneath, like where you put like your eyeliner or anything like that, just because I feel like it really opens your eye up. So I'm just gonna do that. A little bit under there, a little bit under there. Okay, I'm gonna do my inner tear duct. Just soften everything up. Okay, so now that's done. I'm not sure why I always feel like I'm moving around. Like I do my eyes, and I do my face, and I do my eyebrows, and I do my eyes, and I do my face again. So now that I have this in, I usually go back in with like my powder um, foundation, and then I do my bronzer. And today I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever powder. I love this stuff, but the only problem is, is I'm so fair right now, so I'm gonna have to, I can use it, but I'm gonna have to put a little bit of bronzer on my neck area, which is fine, I don't mind. So I'm just gonna start buffing this in. This is like a high coverage powder, which I absolutely love because it covers on like my, I have like a little bit of adult acne, so it kind of covers it and if you have any like texture, I feel like this is like really good foundation. And just drag that down, don't forget your neck. Okay. I'm really curious to see how this foundation is gonna last, that um, L'Oreal foundation. So I will definitely let you guys know on that because I'm very curious myself. Okay, so next I'm taking my Bahama Mama powder from the Balm. It's just like a matte brown color, which I absolutely love for contouring. So even if I'm not like straight contouring, like going in hard with it, I do put it in the same like hollows of my cheeks that I would any other day. So I'm just using this brush from BH Cosmetics. I think it's a blush brush, but I use it for contour, I use it for blush, I use it for whatever. So I'm just going to make that duck face. It's like a really nice um, matte color. I've said this before, it doesn't have like any orange pigment, which is awesome. So there's that. I'm going to put it on my forehead. I always put it around the perimeter of my face. I feel like it really kind of brings it in. I'm going to do the other side a little bit more. <laughs> On my chin, I'm not sure really why I do this. I think it's just a habit. <laughs> I've never really noticed a difference, but so now that I have that on, it kind of definitely gives me a little bit more color because I was looking a little pale. I was looking like Casper. So next for blush, I'm going to be using, um, I got this at Forever 21, which is really funny because I've never bought makeup from them. And I was like standing in line waiting and I was taking forever. And I seen this there and I thought the color was really pretty. It's like a... It's kind of coming off more brown, but it's definitely not. But it has a lot of um, rosy, kind of pinkish undertones. But it has like a really nice sheen to it. So I love that. It makes my face look really nice. So I'm just going to go in with that. And I know you're only supposed to put it like on the apples of your cheeks, which is right here. But you know what? I don't. I put it everywhere. Okay. Now I'm going to do my mascara. See how I like bounce everywhere? So I just curled my lashes. I have my, my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. This is my favorite. So I'm just going to apply that to my eyelashes. Ooh, I'm going to need a new one. It's getting kind of dry. If I could pick anything in life to get a supply of for like ever, it would be definitely mascara because I blow through it. I put so much on. I don't use fake eyelashes. I've actually never tried fake eyelashes, believe it or not. I don't even, even know where to start. I mean, I know you glue them on, but yeah, I've never used them before. But see, like the thing is, is I have pretty long eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like they're pretty long. So, and in the summer, the tips of them get blonde. <laughs> 
So I really pack it on in the summer. You should see that. And I think in the summer too, just because it's summer out and it's like hotter weather, that my mascara gets dried out quicker. That might just be an excuse for me to make me feel better. But I blow through mascaras. I really wish I had like an abundance of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing it. All right, so now for the lower lashes. Now, sometimes I do like smudge a little bit of brown um, underneath or like maybe like a rustic orange color. I really like doing that because it really like brightens my eyes. But today I was kind of going for like a matte kind of brownish look. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to slap on some mascara. So all I do for mascara is I wiggle and I pull down, wiggle and pull down. So I know some people just like do like a coat all the way across, but I think the wiggling really makes your eyelashes separate and it really makes it like a lot blacker than it would if you didn't. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. So that's like kind of what's going on right now. I don't have any eyebrows on, so let's get those bad boys filled in. I'm just gonna use a little spoolie, comb through my brows of what I have left. I'm gonna have to get that castor oil going because these are looking sparse, so hello. Now I'm using the CoverGirl brow pencil. I use this like literally every day, even if I'm just like touching up a little spot, spot I'll use this every single day. I, I'm not really into the pomades. I've tried them before and I feel like, unless I'm just doing them wrong, like I'm, I try to do little small motions, but it just never looks right on me. Okay. You know what's so funny is like some days my eyebrows look so nice. I mean, they're okay today. They're not like fantastic, but they'll do. Now this eyebrow always gives me trouble. Always. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like because I sleep on this side or what, but it's always looking rough. So I'm going to try to really get in there and do a nice job today. Small motions, that's all. Hmm. All right. Pretty good. I'm actually very, very happy with them today. Good job, eyebrows. So on the days that I have off work or if I'm going out somewhere, I do like to use a clear brow gel. This is by Billion Dollar Brows. I get this at Kohl's and it's just like a clear applicator. And I just comb through my brows. This actually works really nice, but I did notice that it kind of like takes off of the color that I just put on. But it's okay because it all kind of blends it in better too. Now for lips. So today I'm gonna line my lips, which I don't do this every day. Um, it just depends on what I'm going for. I'm gonna use this Palladio lip pencil. It's in the color Raisin. Just gonna line my lips. And I'm not going, I'm not going like totally on the outside. I am going a little bit towards the middle too. So. I don't really overdraw my lips just because on me I feel like it looks funny and you can kind of tell. So now that's on. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Superstay lipstick in the color. Oh, hello. What color are you? Endless Raisin. Isn't that funny? Two different brands and they're both raisin. All right. So then I just kind of like tap, tap, tap. My hair is like super flat right now. Like, could it get, this is at like my maximum ugly capacity. But it's okay, I'm gonna do my hair. I do love my haircut though, my sister cut it. I'm gonna use my Stilo Convertible Color. Now this is like a really pale color. It's like a pale pinkish kinda, almost looks like concealer. It's not, I assure you it's not. So I like to do this right in the center. Oh, uh, that, that, ooh, that's a lot, girl. Oh, oh, whoa. I hold up too much. 
kind of a little tappy tat. Blend, blend, blend. Why did that come out so light today? Well, now I'm gonna have to go back in with that lip pencil because it looks like my lips just blend into my face. So here I go. What's going on here? What's going on here? Why isn't this working? Is it because I'm on camera now? Okay, so this is the look. Okay guys, so this is the final result. This is what it looks like. It's like a matte eye with a wing eyeliner. Got a little highlight. Oh my gosh, I forgot highlighter. Hold on, it's not over yet. The last part I do is I use this, um, it's by The Balm. It's actually an eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed because I honestly thought it was a highlighter because when I swatched it on my hand at the store, I was like, yes, this is gonna be great. And then I got home and I'm like, it's an eyeshadow. But I don't care because it has awesome pigment and it goes on like butter so here we go and I'm just using an elf brush give a little bit of shine okay and it just depends on the day if I'm like going out I'm gonna make this look more dramatic I would really slap on the highlighter but um it's still the daytime I think it's what time is it it's 12 30 right now so just gonna put it on this side just on the cheekbones, maybe a little bit on the nose. I don't go crazy on the nose because of my um, oily skin. Just a little bit of definition. And that's it. So I gotta go do this hair. <laughs> but yeah, that's the final result. And definitely subscribe to our channel. It's N plus T and I'll see you guys later. Bye.